All right, point of our video here real quick is just to cover how to handle inbound call management uh, for your account on high level. Uh, if you want me to handle some of this stuff for you, certainly feel free to reach out to me at the High Level Guru. Drop me an email, highlevelguru at gmail.com, or call me on the number here. Uh, happy to build some of this stuff out for your account. Uh, let's jump into it, though. Inbound call management, what problem are we solving? Uh, people call in to the customer's account. Obviously, we want to automate those actions, and we want to respond back to those people. So uh, traditionally, we're trying to take them and convert them to actionable next steps. So let's flip over to high level here, and let's go. And I've created a new uh, automation called New Inbound Call. And what's going to trigger a new inbound call is if we do Customer Replied, or, uh, Customer Replied, and then we add a filter. And we change this to reply channel. So this is how we're going to control these triggering events. The reply channel, you see these are our options. So this is the way to automate anything. So we'll, we could automate text messages. We're going to automate GMB messaging, Instagram, Facebook, chat widget. So we'll do that on some of the other videos. For now, we're just going to stick with the call. And then let's label this contact replied equals call. So we know what's going on. So they've called in. Now we want to instantly text them back. Keep in mind we don't know their first name or anything like that. So we're going to instantly send a text message back. Thanks for calling the high level guru. Uh, you know, let's say it's a, an HVAC company or a plumbing company or whatever. Technicians are standing by. Please let us know how to handle this call. And again, you can make this content whatever you want. So I like one. I'm, let's see, I'm having, how about that? I'm having an emergency. Two, book service call. Three. Uh, you know what would three be? So first one maybe I'm having an emergency. Two is book service call. Three of them maybe looking for more info. Let's put a little space here. This is going to get texted to the customer, and then let's put our little reminder down here. Please respond only one through three. So. First text, menu of choices to caller. Boom, so pretty cool. And really what we want to do here is, we're, again, we're just going to do a wait step. And we're just going to wait for a reply. And contact replied to this step. So wait for reply only. And something we might want to do too, inbound call uh, to the business owner. More than likely, it's probably being forwarded to the business owner's cell phone. But why don't we go up here and we make an internal notification. And the internal notification can be a text message. It can just be a custom number. We'll just put in something here for now. And then we'll call this new new inbound call. So we're only going to have the phone number. And then let's remind what's going to be, the thing is when you send this text to the business owner, impulsively they want to respond to this. So let's go. Uh, respond. So please, let's make this in cap, please contact this person using the number above. This could always be something that you would remove maybe down the road for the client, but this is definitely a nice little reminder message because they're instinctively just going to text back to the system. And then we could call this internal notification to client. So now we've got, initially here if somebody calls the business, we've got something that goes to the client and lets them know what's going on. 
Now we're hitting the caller with a menu of choices. Now we've got a wait step. Now we're just going to wait to see if they reply to this. So the whole idea here is to really make this a robust uh, situation here. So contact replied. Let's just see if they replied. Uh, yes. So did they reply? So then now let's qualify how they replied. So let's look at the replied message. So contact replied. Replied message is one. Let's change that to or. Replied message is two. Contact, I oh, went to the wrong spot here. So contact replied message is three. So let's see what's going on. Did they respond? One, two, three only. So now if they didn't, let's just text them one more time. Save my workflow here. So now we've responded. Now let's just do a wait step. So wait, contact reply, wait. If. So if they replied. They did reply. Let's just use this go to statement. And let's pop it up there and it's going to look at the qualification to see if they responded one through three. So now we've got our events handled if they responded incorrectly. And now we've got a nice little permanent loop here where it's just going to ask them to only respond one through three. Now we need to figure out what did they respond. So let's go over here and make these branches. So contact, reply, replied, message is one. And then let's label this. Did they, did reply equal one question mark. If it's not one, maybe it's two. So let's see if. And then if not, it's just going to be one more step here. If contact replied, replied message is three. So did reply equal three question mark. And then let's save it. So now let's go back to our menu. It's easy to forget what our choices was. So uh, one, I'm having an emergency. This is a pretty sweet outcome. This is right now money. So let's go ahead and verify that though, right? Let's not be crazy. So looks like your See what I'm doing here? I'm giving them a couple options and then please respond only one or two. Last thing we want to do is start blowing up your customer with the false flag operation here. So looks like you're having an emergency, right? Wait. So let's wait for reply now. Wait for contact reply to your step. Wait for reply only. say if contact replied is yes and let's go ahead and put if replied message is one 
So actually not let's not do that. Let's give ourselves a little out here in case they've responded the wrong way. So contact replied. Yes. So then let's just do the old. I like putting the multiple branches on here because it's going to give you options for if they didn't and uh, more opportunity, I think, to kind of customize this down the road. So contact replied, replied message is one add or contact replied message is two. So did they one or two? Gripes, if I can spell here. So replied message is one or two. If so, uh, again, this is where we're just going to hit them with the please respond only one or two. So then let's do our wait step down here. Wait for contact reply to that. Wait for reply only. And then if contact replied message is one and contact replied message is two. Did they respond one or two? they didn't let's just do our little go-to game here and if they did now we're going to branch over here so this is let's take a peek at what they so let's figure out what they replied so if Contact reply is one. Did they reply one? So one is going to be an emergency. If they replied two, we're just going to take them back to the first text. So if they didn't reply one here, I'm not even going to see if they replied two. Any, we're just going to assume that it was two. Boom. So now it's going to text that menu back. So that would allow them to bust out of the, the emergency routine and it would send them back to the main thing. Now, if they're having an emergency, now's where we want to confirm. So, emergency confirmed. Uh, text and call has been sent to the business owner. Alerting them to the Please stand by for a call in the next few minutes. So confirm. So this is where we want to get the business all, the owner involved. This is what we call the old hot lead situation here. So this is where we're going to go internal notification to the business owner several times. Uh, we could do I'm just going to put a custom number in here for the purpose of this video, but, you know, emergency call reported, you know, and this is where, so we have an emergency call. If we had a voicemail, this would be a good thing. You could even record like a voice drop to the owner that would let them know there was an emergency. Uh, this might even be something where you could use the call connect feature if you wanted to connect uh, the customer with, you know, if you wanted to auto connect the customers together. Uh, a lot of opportunities here you can see after we've reached the emergency status. Let's go quickly identify some of our other statuses here and we'll end this video. Book service call looking for more info. So you can see here we didn't really customize if they replied to for book service call. You know, if they wanted a book service call, great, it appears. Great. Here's our service calendar, or whatever the process is for service. 
The third one, if you remember, was what? Take me to the website or looking for more info. So if we wanted to customize number three, if they replied three, perfect. Here's the link to our website for more information. Boom. So then we could kind of customize these, you know, send website link just so we know, just to keep everything clean. And then this one is send service calendar. Ah. So you can see quickly here, I think under 15 minutes here, we've got a really nice, robust inbound call situation. Uh, you can see there's probably a lot of opportunity for you to customize this for your client. If you wanted me to customize something like this, feel free to reach out to me, highlevelguru.com. Drop me an email uh, or shoot me a phone call. Happy to connect and help anytime.